Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today we're gonna see how to make a VHS effect and also how to do some cropping and like making it in an old TV and stuff like that. So to start we'll just do the simple VHS effect. So I have a clip here. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is add some effects to make it look old. The first effect is gonna be R RGB split something. I forgot the S. Yeah, this one. And it will add um, red colors. You're gonna see. So you can choose whatever direction or whatever you want. And yeah, here it is. So that's the first one. Then we're gonna add some grain. And we're gonna take the old one. It's okay. Everything is fine. Uh, it's not bright enough, so I'm gonna make it brighter. And maybe a little bit less noise so that we can see a little what's happening. And contrast is a bit high as well, I think. So yeah, that looks better. And this already looks kind of vhs -y, you know? Then you can make it better. So I'm just gonna save this so I can use it for later uh, when I edit the video, sorry. So then you can also add um, a bit of a glitch. So I'm gonna actually copy and paste it on top. And I'm gonna add alpha shapes. And I'm gonna make a big rectangle that's the whole length. So I need size X to be, be bigger and size Y. You can choose whatever you want, honestly. And transition width I will put at zero because I think it's better this way. And then we will keyframe the position. So at the beginning it will be at the highest point. So position Y will be higher, something like here. And at the end it will be way lower. So I'll go to the last keyframe, add a keyframe and put it all the way down. You can see that nothing has happened yet. That's because we need to shift it. Um, to do this we're going to use transform. But you will actually need transform of, on both of them because if you do just moving one of them, you will get some black at one point, so that won't be really nice. So I will add a transform effect to both of the clips and zoom it like a little, like maybe 105%. Make sure it's centered and we'll copy this transform effect to the second one. And here the we will shift it in X, yes, in X, right? But on top of the alpha shapes. Oh, my poor computer is dying. Okay, well, you can see the, 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 the part I'm talking about here. Like, there's a little shift. That makes it look like a glitch. We can do more, you know? So, one of the first things you can do is add just an overlay. So to add an overlay, you're gonna need one more track, so insert track, okay. And then I'm gonna use this one first, actually. Wait, I just want the video, so I can select this little icon here, drag the video. And you'll see that for now we can only see this, so we'll add a composition by clicking the corner, and then go to screen because this is black and we want the black to disappear. One thing you can see is it's only applied to the glitch part, so we're gonna need to add a transition between these two as well. And we'll just do a random composite, it should be enough. And this will be on V1 now. And now the track will apply everywhere. Yes. So you can also see that it changes the color a little. So I'm gonna add gamma to it because the black is not actually black in this thing, so we want it to be more black, so we will go gamma and go down. Um, you can also see that it doesn't go the full length, so I'll just copy and paste this thing. By the way, I will link these overlays in the description. If you want more, you can even insert an other overlay, like this one here. Um, this one is just a PNG, so you can make it as long as you want. And here again, we're gonna have to add a composition. But here, the white is what we want to go away, so we'll, we'll select multiply. And make sure it's on V1 as well. And it is pretty cool. We 
Lastly, we're gonna change the ratio of our image. I'm gonna have to remove this because it won't be the right ratio, so you can go away. And even this we might have to move, but I will go here and select Crop, Scale and Tilt. Add it to the bottom one and hide everything on top because we want to see what we're doing. We're gonna crop the right and the left. Left and right. And if you want your whole video to be like this, you might just want to change the project settings. But if it's just for a part of it, you can do it like this, you know. You could do the calculations or just do it by eye like I'm doing right now. I think this looks okay. So I'm just gonna keep it like this. Then I'm gonna show this again and copy crop scale and tilt on top. Yes, so now it's good. And lastly, I will show this, but you will see that there's a problem because we can't see the date, so I'm gonna have to move it. Instead of screen, I will go to composite and transform, change the compositing to screen, and now I can move my thing to be more to the right. And now we have a new effect. The last thing I want to show you is how to put everything, like this whole thing, in a TV like this one. So uh, this I found online and I might have removed the center myself, I don't know, it's been years. Um, if I could put it here, it kind of works, but <laughs> you're gonna see issues, because it's just the center. So we're gonna want to make everything smaller. The good thing is now that we have transitions between all of the layers, we can just add a transition to the bottom one with composite. It's gonna be automatically to background, but you can check that it is to background. And you can change the size. You can see that we have a problem with the second one. I think it might be uh, because of both of the, like... It might be because of the transform. What happens if I remove it? It's not good. So it might be because of the composite then. Well, I guess... Yeah. So it is because of the composite. So we'll change composite to something else, like composite and transform, and see if it's okay. And it's good now. So yeah, that's a thing. When Canal Live doesn't work exactly the one way you want, there's pretty much always another option. So right now I change the composite to composite and transform and everything is fine. And so now it looks like it's in an old TV. You can add other effects even, like uh, lens correction, for example, to make it more um, like fish eye. So I'll take this one because it's the one I can use. I know how to use it. And I will hide everything so I can see what I'm doing once more. And here if I go on land correction, I'll just uh, change this and make sure it goes in the right direction, like makes it uh, big like I want. And it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna say it's okay. Copy the lens correction to the second truck and show everything else. So yeah, this is it. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment, everything. And I'll be back next week. Bye-bye.